Hi guys, I hope you're having a great day. Um, and today I'm going to Ikea. I'm not shopping for furniture, but shopping for um, hamster products or things that I can make into hamster products. And I'm going to be telling you guys um, what things you can use. I just found this, it's not hamster related, but it's basically these shelves and then there's like one shelf which is like um, a dollhouse and I thought that was cute, I'm going to show that to my sister. I think this is supposed to be a tea light, but it can be turned into a food bowl. It's quite a cool, funky tea light holder thingy. What? I'm confused now. Another thing that can be tied. Literally anything with this shape can just be turned over, had some bedding put into it, and we can't hamster hide. They're great. I just found this box and you can turn it over. I think it's cardboard, so I think it's safe. Um, yeah, you can turn it over and perhaps it can go in there, it can go on top, it can go inside all the things. I'm not going to be getting one of these today because I'm not sure actually what material this is. If it's cardboard, I hope that's safe. I'm not going to be getting this um, today, but maybe another time. So guys, this is the IKEA Detolf and this can be turned into a hamster cage if turned on its side and the shelves taken out but you will have to DIY a lid and I really want to get this for cookie dough but um, yeah I really want to get this for cookie dough but I'm not sure um, yeah I might get it because the IKEA Detolf is glass and it has little knobbly bits on the end you can't just have it flat on the floor you need something to have it on because otherwise it will slowly be bending um, down if I get it I'll show you guys but yeah you need something to put it on and the measurements on the Kallax seem pretty good so we're gonna um, look at some other options as well but we are probably most likely gonna get this to have the IKEA detolf on so guys um, right now what we're doing is we're trying to find something that will fit um, the IKEA detolf properly so that it can like um yeah like i explained earlier um th that one the calyx um it was good but like it would still be kind of going off um a bit um so it wouldn't work quite perfectly as we wanted it to but um so yeah um we might get it if we don't find anything better but we'd like something a little wider i think this de desk setup is really nice cool how it can just fit in a corner. These make these make perfect um, these make perfect treat jars. So me and my mom are gonna get a couple of those for cookie dough and our guinea pigs. Oh, I just realised they come in fours. So yeah, we're probably gonna get one or two of these packs. 
Guys, IKEA sells chocolate. This makes a good sand bath, obviously not with the vegetables in it, but just by itself. Guys, look, this is like, um, a, it's like a, um, chest of drawers kind of, well, not chest of drawers, it doesn't have giant drawer holes, but it has like these, um, to storage, and then you can lift these up on both sides and make it into a table. These can be hamster food bowls. I'm here in the kitchen area and um, any sort of baking tin, um, you can find a great sand bath. Um, I'm going to be getting this mixed uh, glass one. It's nice and big, so yeah. going to get some of these because they're the jars um, but they just have like one of those clip off clip on clip off lids instead I'm gonna get some of these as well for treats and food and stuff Into the guys if I get the detolf and the thing the stand for it um, I'm gonna have this food on display so I want some nice jars so I'm going to get one of these two um, one of each size if you own a bird it's like a budgie or something um, then this is a set of perches for you I don't know much about birds but you can use that as a perch probably Yeah, we just keep going and going and going and going. Any kind of jars are cute for treats and stuff. I'm getting this frame. Um, it's lots of little frames and I'm going to put pictures of my pets. I found these pebbles. I'm not sure they're safe for hamsters, but I'm going to take a couple. Um, and wash them and then research if they're safe. Hopefully they are because um, it'll be really cute and some decoration in Cookie Dough's cage. So yeah, um, by the end of this video, you'll know if these are safe or not. Um, so yeah. We are in the great hall of um, boxes. So guys, we've paid and stuff. Um, I'll show you what we get, what I got when we get home. 
Um, but right now, um, we're going to get some food. So guys, um, we got some food. I got the French fries or chips, as I call them. And um, when I get home, I'm gonna show you everything I got. Um, unfortunately, the IKEA Detolf and the um, Calax, um, um, they, well, the Calax was in stock, but the Detolf wasn't. <coughs> um, so we just decided to order them both. Um, and they're gonna arrive in five days. So stay tuned for that video where I upgrade cookie dough. I will um, have to make a um, lid for it. But yeah, um, so yeah, <laughs> I'll show you everything that I got when I get home. So I'm home now and it is haul time. I, um, if you haven't seen this beautiful person over here, this is my sister, Arlandria. She has a channel for reborn babies, which will be linked in the description if you would like to go check it out. So what would you like to tell the people out there what you were doing when me and my mum were at IKEA? Um, well, me and our mum. Yeah, very weird. She won this. And, and the duck game. Yeah, one of those classic duck games. And, do you get me anything? Yeah, she very kindly, well, technically my dad won this for me, but I don't know, was it your idea? Okay. Um, yeah. My dad um, won me this, but it was my sister's idea. I don't know if it's in shot, I can't see. <laughs> yeah, and she also very kindly got me some pears. And if you don't know what they are, then, oh no! Then who are you in the world? They're very yummy sweets. Yeah, basically. Now that you guys kind of know what Lala was doing today, well, you know what I was doing today because you just saw an entire vlog about it, but, <coughs> um, so yeah. Can I show the first thing? No. Can I? Please. No. We're doing a game. No, we're doing a game. Oh, what is it? We're doing, so guys, we are going to be doing a kind of game. Since everything is from Ikea, not a pet shop, none of the stuff is specifically meant for pets. So we're going to be playing a game. I'm gonna show the thing to her and she is going to guess what we are going to be using, each of the things for and what pet we are going to be, um, that what pet is going to be using it. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going, that's the game that we're going to be playing. Um, but before we dig into this box, um, I have just some decorations for my room. So I'm going to go get those and show them to you, and then we're going to go on to that box. Right? So, just a quick kind of interview before I show you the things. Everything in that is all for the pets, or some of it just for you? Uh, some of it's for my room, but I bet you're wondering, why do you buy stuff for your own? Uh, because your room's very pretty. No, you're doing a makeover! No. It's going to look different after this, but... Um, I don't... If you know me, I'm not that interested in, like, clothes or decoration. Um, but I do like things to look nice. Um, 
So yeah, I, I'm not the kind of person who would just go to like a furniture shop and buy and just buy furniture and decorations for my room. That's why it was my first time going to IKEA. Um, so yeah, that was fun though. Yeah, it was fun in the fancy stuff. So. And guinea pig stuff, I know. Um, so, have you ever heard of, like, does it ring any bells? Have you ever heard of it? Do you even know what it is? Um, do you know what the IKEA detox is? No. Okay. It is a shelving unit that can be turned into a hamster cage. And, um, you got it. We haven't got it here, but because um, they were out of stock, but we ordered it, and it's coming in five days. So, yeah, and if you're familiar with it, which obviously you aren't, um, the IKEA is a is glass, and it has like knobbly bits at the ends, so it swoop like if you just have it playing on the floor, it will swoop in and swoop in, and it's it more and more each day and since it's glass it will eventually just snap now we don't want that when we have our precious baby inside it now do we so you need something <laughs> you need something to have it on stop looking at your foot <laughs> <laughs> let's start that again to, uh, to have it on can we start that again no please it's fine it's fine i'll cut that bit out okay <laughs> you have to. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, I bought um, this like thing um, to have the IKEA detox on um, called the Catax or something. And um, basically, it has like these, it's like um, a storage unit kind of like we have under the guinea pig's cage. Um, and um, I'm going to fill three of the cubby three of the things with cubbies like we have in the game basically and three of them are just going to be like have decoration in them so that's why i got decorations get it mm -hmm. so now hall time enough talky talk so the first things um are these two we're not going to play the games with these because they aren't pet related yeah I know. and you know what these are right the picture frames yeah so I got these two turquoise picture frames. They're the Fisco 13 by 18 centimeters. Um, and yeah, I just got two of these. Most likely are gonna have pictures of my pets. Um, maybe family members or just something else nice. And then I got this breakfast in bed table. That's we, mine. No. We already have one of these um, from Ikea. But that one has hot chocolate on it. Because <laughs> you spilled it. Um, yeah, we ha already have, um, not this exact one. We have like kind of a white version of this, a more plasticky version. This one's wooden. Um, that one's more like better quality. No, because they're by the same place. Um, and yeah, um, we only had one because was, there was only one left. So um my mum bought it so yeah my sister went ahead and stole it from me and spilled hot chocolate all over it so now that's hers and this is mine um so yeah it's just like this it's kind of like a pinky wooded wood colored and it's gray and you can just fold kind it of white is fold pink. It so now it's just a tray but you can also take that down to make it in work so I thought that was just really cool. Um, and this is, um, so my friend um, has one of these, well, not exactly this, but like a similar one, but like in black. Um, and ever since she got it, I've like really liked it. Um, you treasured it. Yeah, <laughs> if you want to say that. Um, so yeah, it's basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight p different, eight p Um, sorry, my dad just called and it cut off some of the video. Um, so I'm not going to start again, but yeah. So we got this and um, yeah, they stick together and you just hang it on your wall. And um, most likely they're all going to have pictures of my pets in it because... 
that's what I like to look at. Um, so, yeah. Sorry, somebody else was calling. Um, so yeah, they're gonna have pictures of my cats. And most likely in my next video, or whenever um, I put some pictures in there, I will show you guys. So yeah, now we have all of those things sorted. So now, it's time for the Box of Wonders. Okay, would you like to choose something to do first? This. This? Guess what it is. Okay, I think it's pretty it's for, simple. Um, it's for to put treats in. Uh, yeah. This mm -hmm. one is, um, oh, we haven't decided what you yeah, um, well, we're either going to do it for our dogs or for the guinea pigs. We haven't quite decided yet. Dogs or guinea pigs, that's what I thought. Um, do guinea pigs have one? Uh, because I also today kind of broke the other one that the dogs had. So that's like perfect. I broke it. I was running with it because I was thinking the dogs some treats because I was doing mops some treats because I was doing um, a running course, so you know, um, uh, so I was training her, and then, um, should we continue? So what do you think, these are fake by the way? Yeah, I know. Uh, just for room decoration. Yeah. Um, they're just these like, white. Can I pick? Um, yeah, wait, just these succulents or cactuses. I actually, fun fact, have a real cactus. And it turns out um, I'm not a great plant keeper, but it, it's alive. Just it's seen better days, but it, it's alive. So yeah, this next. What, um, what do you think? Uh, All for, the jars are pretty simple. For guinea pig treats or food? Yeah. Um, food. I actually haven't decided what I'm gonna use this for. Most likely for like maybe pellets for the guinea pigs or more room for. Or if I end up using this for the dog, then there may be treats for the guinea pigs. Haven't really decided yet. Giant for the guinea pigs. And speaking about, speaking about guinea pig treats and house treats and bunny treats and stuff, just speaking about treats, um, we just got an order to loads of new treats and these niblocks um, are. Like our, the our, guinea our guinea pigs' uh, favorite treat. treats. They literally will not eat anything else. Well, they eat food, but like these are their favorite treats. Um, they like pretty much all the flavors, and uh, Kushida likes them too. Yeah. It says safe for hamsters, bunnies, and guinea pigs. Yeah. So, wait, um, should we do this next? Uh, I have no idea what that even is. That's it. Do you get anything for me? I got chocolate. I got chocolate, which is for you. <gasps> but I don't like chocolate. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I do. I didn't go to a theme park. None of this stuff would be very interesting. And we share because we don't. Yeah. Uh, so just pretend that this light. is for you. Light. Yeah. Basically, I thought this was so cool. So you clip this like onto a table or anything. Um, and then this. And then there's just that light. It's like a portable light. You can just take with you anywhere. Just click it onto a table or whatever. Um, like even a notebook, you can just clip it onto the side of your notebook. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, if I want to can I pick something? Sure. Mm. Just pick something in the middle. Okay, this. 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 Now, um, you guys should know what this is anyway. <coughs> if you properly watch the video, you should know what this is. Uh, so it's something for the pets, right? It's too big to be a sandbar. 
Okay, so I think wait, 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 wait. Okay, so I think I know what it is. So is it something to put guinea pigs' toys in? Oh. Oh, no. Okay, I can do it. It's a sandbox. Actually, yeah. Because hamsters, they like to have hideouts um, in their um, sand baths. And I also thought that um, his wheel can go in here. Um, since we're getting the idea. So, I can't believe I didn't go for that. Yeah, it is a huge sand bath, but you know how Cookie knows with the sand bath. He loves it. I love the sand bath he has for him now. Can I pick the next thing? Sorry, is it human or <laughs> um or it's animal? Uh, is it is it like treats disguised as rocks? Where is it rocks? It's rocks. No. Um. So, um, rocks for the guinea pigs? No. Rocks for the hamster. Yeah. Um, guys, I still haven't had a chance to research if these are safe or not. Because I think they might be painted, because if they're painted, then the paint might be toxic. Um, I don't know, because it says here, risk of colour rubble, which makes me think that um, it's painted and they're not real. But if they're real, then they're safe. Um, editing Nova, put the answer down there, or wherever, just there. Um, whether they are safe or not. Um, okay, why are you so desperate to do that? What? The thing, you've been trying to grab it the whole time. No, it's just because I'm like, huge and they're annoying me. Okay. Uh, what is it? I mean, no, I can't say the detour thing for the hamster shell. Yeah. Um, they're just these cubbies. Um, this pattern isn't going to be showing. It's just on the back for some reason. I don't know why. Can I pick? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Those are glass. Sorry, that's fine. I didn't hear a smash. I want it to, I want, I want it to do this song. Yeah, so what do you think? Uh, for, it's for pets, right? Yeah. For treats. Yeah. I'm only realizing just now that these could, like, a dwarf hamster could fit in there, or a, um, just a Syrian could fit in there as well. But um, they, would, this would probably be a great hideout for dwarf hamsters. Not so much Syrians because they wouldn't properly be able to fit their entire body in it. But yeah, these are for treats, um, mostly for cookie dough, for the because I wanna since we're getting a new. Um, whole thing of cubbies. Um, I want to have since that's under the um, IKEA detail. Um, I want it to have all the hamster stuff, and then the thing that um, currently we have hamster stuff and guinea pig stuff under their cage right now. Uh, we're running quite low on storage, so I thought that would have guinea pig stuff, and then the thing under the IKEA detail would have just um, hamster stuff. So yeah, if the guinea pigs need some more treat jars then they can have one but yeah 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 that actually would be a great yeah that's a hide up. so i picked up this because um i know you were talking about your real <coughs> business mm -hmm. so wait pause it pause, pause it why because i want to get your real cactus i'm sure i'll get my real cactus okay guys um you're gonna edit this out right So this is my real cactus. Um, I named her once, but I forgot it. 
Yeah, it's, it's a her. I, I know that plants are neither he is nor she is. They're both, but I just call her a sheep okay? So um, she used to have a cute little pink flower, but then it died. But yes, yeah, she is alive. I know she is. Well, you haven't actually, her in ages. You don't water cactuses that much. I know. Well, yeah. I'm not a hamster expert, guys. If you are, then please comment you down below. Is this... No, not hamster, cactus expert. Um, if you are a cactus expert, then please tell me, is this cactus dead? <laughs> um, I'm good with hamsters and guinea pigs and dogs, but not so much plants. She's good with all animals, but not so much plants. So these are fake cactuses for room display, I'm guessing. These actually are real cactuses. Are real. I thought they were fake. Can I have one? them? But then it turns out they're real. Okay, now. So I thought that like I would because I these are really cute. Um, like the pots that they're in right now. So I thought I would put them underneath. Can I have one? No. Please. I, I need them all because I need to put them under the cubby. Can I have one? No, I mean under the okay the door because I thought it was one? really cute. If I can't find a space for one, then yes, you can have one. But don't get your hopes up. Those are like the things that I like the most. But can't fix. Just putting I know exactly what this is. What is it? So one of those things that you put your books and stuff in. Yeah, that's what it's meant for, but what am I gonna use it for? Because it's like the exact same shape as you have something wet on your face. Um, um you can like put it on. She thinks that you can put it like that for a hamster. Uh, it'll probably fall and the hamster's dead, so that's not good. Um, then put it like. Hamster can fit. She thinks you can put it like that and the hamster will go through that. That's not gonna work. Uh, a mailbox or something? Is she correct, guys? Um, guys, if you didn't see me buy this stuff, um, if you just get to now the whole part then comment down below or if the comments are disabled then just go to my instagram which the name of the instagram is there and go comment on my most recent post what is it? Um, you turn it like this and the hamster yeah the hamster can go under here but it's also a platform for like food or anything so that's going to go on top of here and they can go underneath so it's kind of right about the hamster. Kind of. Okay. I wonder if I'll do this. Well, that's actually not heavy. Why did I get like Oh, that is actually heavier than I thought. Yeah. Oh! oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, I what do you think this is? Show them. They can't see. Uh, I don't know if you have it like that. I don't even know what it is. Exactly. Just sample. It's just like you take out these two things and it's like you're supposed to be storage. That oh that's what it's meant for. Take out those two things and then it's a hamster can fit in it. Is that your final answer? Um, yeah. That's like so small. There's a hamster hideout. I actually have no idea, no clue, what I am going to be using this for. Hamster hideout. Um, I I think I'm gonna like take out these things. Um, and I don't know. Yeah, I actually have no idea what I'm gonna use this for. Most likely a hamster hideout, like I might take out one and then have the other one like half open so that he can go inside or something like that. Um, not completely decided, but um, I'm sure I can make something out of it. Um, by the way, um, this is made of cardboard. Um, this is made of paper. So if you choose on these, um, it's fine. Cause I like to use either like paper or wooden, um, or ceramic things. I don't really like to use plastic in Cookie Dough's cage because he can chew it 
and he can get bits off it um, and swallow them, which I don't really like the idea of. So most of the things in, in his cage are either ceramic, wooden, or um, cardboard flash paper. So this is probably like a treat. Yeah. This um, is also just for treats, but it could be a hideout for a dwarf hamster. You get one. Uh, let me open it so more jars. Yeah. More jars. Uh, hamster hideout. Uh, hamster yeah. hideout. I can't take it out at the moment. Hamster hideout. Yeah. No, um, no, it's not hamster hideout. But it would be um, It's just like a set of jars. Um, you guys, I will show you guys like a proper um, tour of what my room looks like when I get the IKEA detail. Um, either on my Instagram, so make sure to follow me there. More my jars. will be there again. Um, oh. And, um, yeah. Um, so go follow me there, or it might be a um, like treats and stuff. Show them. Show the people of the world. That makes nice sense. <laughs> so, yeah, I got a small and a big one. I did record getting this. So, yeah. So, these are for um, this one's for like. Yeah. Food for cookie dough and ones for like I don't know. Just maybe sand actually. Yeah, one might be for um sand for cookie dough. One might be for food. Yeah. Um. So yeah, guys. What did the intro would be? Uh, so yeah, guys. Um. That was the video. Um, hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe and hit the like button. Goodbye. Oh, it's still filming.